I'm sorry to dwell on things unpleasant for you. But in your first marriage, was there romance involved? Yes, there was. You must feel extremely fortunate to have that happen in your life. Yes, I do. But if it were so important to you, why did you allow it to end? I know should I ever have romance, I would not let it slip through my fingers. You are an inquisitor. At the end of the day, you go home, and that's it until the next day. For an administrator, there is no end of one day or beginning of the next. Time is a constant continuum. The needs of the citizenry are never ending. So you chose nation state over romance. The truth is, you don't make a choice like that. The burden of responsibility transgresses choice. So then, as an administrator, you are all omnipotent in your power. Yet the nature of responsibility leaves no options for alternatives. It must be extremely frustrating. The temptation would be to dispose of some measure of responsibility and exercise power without the restraints of duty. That would be the measure of autocracy. The measure of the administrator is in serving the people, not oneself. If the burden of responsibility is not acceptable to oneself, then one should not accept that responsibility. Your current five-year matrimonial contract is up in two months. Do you think she will renew? No. There are many issues of contention. Such as? Ah. Well, we have a clause about no sexual intercourse prior to 4 p.m. That's ordinary. I have that clause myself. Well, on occasion, when I've gotten up in the morning, I press the issue a bit. She is adamant about proper sleep time. So you violated the sexual clause of your matrimonial contract? Yes. In a number of ways. <laughs> Unfortunately. I try to be the proper husband, but I keep coming up short. Short? But your records show that you had penile implant surgery. I don't mean short in that way. I mean emotionally or economically, whatever. <laughs> Why are we talking about this? I'm certain that my penis size has nothing to do with the welfare of the nation state. Actually, Mr. Secretary, it has much to do with the welfare of the nation state. Your penis size has much to do with your self-esteem, which has much to do with your emotional conditioning, which has everything to do with the welfare of the nation state. I see. <clears throat> well, my penis size would appear to be appropriate. There have been no complaints as far as I am aware of. Are you suggesting that sexual issues are the only items of contention in your negotiations? No, it's like dead. The issues compound upon themselves and continue to grow despite best intentions to balance the books. So you don't think she will renew? No, I'm sure she's gone. 